All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Krakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akim and to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth out in faith and sincerity. Shalom. All right, this is Brother Shemahala, you know, going into a quick lesson, you know. Well, I hope it's quick, all right, on Christmas. Right, the so-called holiday that our people, all right, which are the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right, and the rest of the heathen they're indulging in, all right, currently at the moment, you know, a a, a he heathenistic custom, right, which cannot be found in the scriptures, right. There's no scripture telling you to celebrate, you know, Christmas, you know, to celebrate anything dealing with this uh bullshit that's going on today, right. They like to say that it has something to do, you know, with the Lord, all right, that he was born on December 25th and he's supposed to celebrate all that is bullshit, all right, and it's uh, going against the scriptures, all right, because it's obviously idol worship, all right, it cannot be proven biblically, all right, so, you know, I'm just going to get a, a couple of scriptures, you know, and um, just trying to, you know, basically... Um, Explain that keeping that custom, I right, basically uh, is against our Israelite heritage and and first and foremost against the Most High, you know Yahweh, right? So this is uh, Jeremiah ten and one. It says, "Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaking unto you, O house of Israel." Thus said Yahweh, "Learn not the way of the heathen." Right? So he says, "Learn not the way of the heathen." This. This Christmas shit, you know, uh, Halloween, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, New Year's, all of this shit, all right, was, it's just man-made shit, all right, man-made traditions, all right, the Hebrew Israelites, that's what we are, all right, we have our own high holy days and things that we were supposed to keep, and Christmas is not one of them, you know, it says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people, all right, the heathen, are vain, for one cut the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. All right, so does any of this sound familiar to you? Right, they cut a tree out of the forest, they deck it with silver and gold, right? They, they basically customize the tree. You know, that's a, I don't think that's the word that's a use, but for lack of better words, I, yeah, I'm just going to use that word for now. Customize, right? You know, the tree to make it look nice. Decorate, decorate, that's the word. They decorate the tree with all of these things. Uh, you know, I forgot the things they use, the ornaments or whatever, I guess that is called. I don't really pay attention to it anymore, but, you know, uh, they, they, they decorate the tree to make it look pretty, you know. And they set it up in their houses, right? Not knowing that this is this is this shit goes back to uh, Babylon, right? With Nimrod and Semiramis and all of that, right? This is idol worship, right? This this stuff ain't just you know pop out of thin air. This is a tradition that was you know that's uh, based on something from back then, you know. So when when you keep this feast, when you or holiday, hot. When you keep this holiday, you are basically uh, performing idol worship, you know. And our people, they, you know, they, they really don't care, right? Because when you try to explain these things to them, you know, they, you know, look at you like you're the evil guy, you know, you're just some bad person or you don't know what you're talking about, you know, or whatever, right? But our people, they always, they always, you know, went after the customs of the heathen. They always followed after them, all right? This ain't this ain't nothing new. Israel has always been like this, you know? Always worshiping other idols. Always, you know, forsaking the Most High, you know? It was always just some, some stupid shit, you know? This is um, Psalms, Psalm 106 and 35. I don't know why I do that. Psalm 106 and 35, it says, or 34. 
They did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. Right, so Israel learned the works of the heathen. You know, just like in Jeremiah 10, right? It just said, learn not the way of the heathen, but Israel did it, right? Because when we came over here, all right, we knew who we were, but we got our heritage stripped from us, from Esau. He beat his ways as us, Christianity, you know, and all of that, right? His way, you know, but before that, we had our own our own things that, that we kept our own customs, right? But when we got it taken away, you know, we didn't have nothing, right? This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, right? Thy heritage. Meaning who we were as a people, all right? Because we, there are 12 tribes of Israel. You know, so this, these would be our biblical nationalities instead of being called African, African Americans, you know, uh, Native Americans, Mexicans, Hispanics. You know, this was, these are the things that we were called by, but it was taken away from us, from the Most High. And he used Esau, right? Scripture in Psalm says, uh, I believe it's 17 and 13, that Esau is his sword. So he used him to come up against us because we disobeyed him, right? And our heritage also goes into our land, right? And, and our customs and all that, everything was taken away from us. So we didn't bring Christmas with us. We didn't bring these holidays with us. They started over here, you know, these heathen came up with this shit, you know, these heathens started, you know, uh, keeping these things over here, all right, we didn't bring it over here, you know, so Israel started clinging on to these different things, clinging on to these different religions, these different customs, right, but, you know, this is something that we're commanded not to do, you know, this is uh, Matthew, too, because, you know, I remember um, one time, you know, I, I believe I was, this was before I came into the truth, or like when I found out, you know, um, <laughs> I was on uh, Twitter, I right, social media app, you know, um, basically, uh, I said something to a, a woman because she was into Christmas, and I was like, show me where it's said in the Bible. And she went to Matthew, the, the second chapter, which I already know she didn't Google this shit, you know, but she she pulled up Matthew, the second chapter about the wise man that brought the gifts unto Yahweh Shah, right unto the Lord. And she used that to say, you know, to justify Christmas, right? But, you know, I'm going to read it. This is Matthew 2 and 7. Then Herod, when he had privately caught the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and mirth. So this is what she used, right? And, you know, this does not justify Christmas at all, right? Why did they bring Yahweh Shah gifts? Because they knew that this was the Messiah. This was the Savior, right? The scripture said that the Savior was going to be born in Bethlehem, right? Then when you go to read Matthew 2. In 5, 2 and 4 says, When he gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the anointed should be born. And said unto him, In Bethlehem, with Judea. Right? So they were, they knew that his birth was according to the scriptures. Right? So they brought gifts and frankincense and myrrh. So my question was, if this had anything to do with Christmas, where does Santa Claus, how did he get into this? You know? How did he get into this? If gifts were brought to Yahweh Shai, right, the, the anointed, how does having gifts for everybody come into play? You know, this was only an occasion for him. And they didn't only bring gifts. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Where, where is all of that? Right? Where the fuck does the mistletoe come from? 
You know, candy canes and shit like that. Right? Fucking Christmas music. You know, what is, where did that come from? You know, that tells you that that, that is a heathenistic custom. You know, that shit comes from these different nations. Right? Like I said, it goes back to Babylon. You know? Yeah, and uh, this is... uh. And our people, bro, they 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 are just so fucking simple, bro. You know that's why that's why we are out here. You know the prophets of the Most High, Lord willing. You know we out here to tell them that this this is not the way. All right, this is not the truth. You know this will only get you destroyed. You know following out the Esau and these different nations and doing the shit that they doing. You know you got we we telling our people, you know to. Awake out of sleep, all right, because it's almost time to get up out of here, bro. You know, this is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for our salvation is near than we would believe, right? Our people are asleep in the spirit, right? They're asleep because they, they still don't know what's going on, right? And part of it is because the Most High doesn't want them to wake up, all right? He sent angels to block their understanding, so they can't receive this truth. And they just fucking simple as hell. Right? So this is uh, Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom cried with doubt. She uttered her voice in the streets. Right? Wisdom cried with doubt. Right? Wisdom is, is, is going to be found in the streets by the men of the Lord. That's how wisdom is crying. We are crying out that wisdom. We are out listening our voice like a trumpet. Right? Showing our people their transgressions. You know, it says she cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her words, saying, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity?" Right? How long? How how long will you simple ass people not realize that this Christmas shit was just made up? That it has nothing to do with the Most High and His Son. Right? All of this shit is vain. You know. It has nothing to do with the Bible. Right. So, you know, all people will forever be, you know, be simple until they just, you know, just be destroyed. The elect, the ones that are destined to come up out of that, right, they they will wake up. You know, the ones that, you know, the most high chosen before he even created the world, you know, they, they will wake up out of that madness, you know, and they won't go back unto it. You know, but... Our people are destroyed, bro. For they are destroyed. They 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 don't know this truth, right? So they are destroyed. It says Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? For a lack of this knowledge, for a lack of the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, you know, of who they are, of the Most High, all of that, right? Our customs, our high holy days, the Sabbath, you know, all of that. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Right? So, ultimately, they will be destroyed. Jeremiah 4 and 22. He says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are saddest children, stupid, and they have none understanding. They, they, they ain't got no understanding. And when you try to give them understanding, break things down to them, you know, like I said, you looked at it as someone as evil. You know, you tell them that, you know, this is not, you know, biblical. All right? It has nothing to do with the Bible. Ah, it's for the it's for the kids. It's just for the kids, you know. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> you know, fuck that. Right? Cuz this is this is vain. You know, I I I hate this time of the year. <laughs> you know, I hate it. The only thing I love about these holidays, man, is that I don't have to go to fucking work. That is it. Right? But I hate I hate the Christmas music. I hate the fucking the Christmas clothes the people be wearing. You know, the the green and the red. I hate the fucking the reindeers. You know, I hate fucking Santa Claus. I hate all of that. <laughs> you know what scriptures say? I hate the evil, love the good. Bro, all of that, bro, all of this shit is just annoying, you know, because when you know this truth, hey, it's, it's, it's going to make you feel like that, you know, 
But it says they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, they wise to do evil. They wise to celebrate these things, you know, without having any understanding of what it's actually about. It said, but it said, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know. But then you know these 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 people are gonna they're gonna stay like this until the uh, you know until the the world is destroyed, as it says in Isaiah the. Uh, the sixth chapter. All right, because we're trying to get our people to turn from these vain traditions, right? The elect. You know, we're only concerned about the elect, man. That's it. All right, this is Acts 14. All right, this is dealing when they called, they basically called um, Barnabas and Paul Jupiter and Mercury, right? Greek gods. But I just had a point I wanted to grab from the scripture. This is Acts 14. 15, it says, and saying, sirs, why do ye these things? Right. We we also are men of like passions with you and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities unto the living power, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all the things that are therein. Right. We're trying to get our people to turn to the most high and leave off from these vain traditions that they are worshiping, that they are keeping, you know, and these idols that they are worshiping. Right. We're trying to. You know, get the elect out of our people, you know, to to get right. You know, because it, these 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 things uh bring anger all right to the men of the Lord. You know, seeing our people just uh in this simple state. You know. But you know, they gon they gonna they gonna they gonna be like this to until America is you know, just totally just wiped away. All right, this is Luke 17 and 26. I ended off on this. I ain't going to make it too long. It says, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives that were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all, right? Because they didn't expect the world to flood back then. They didn't expect for it to rain, you know? They looked at it as something that was far fetched, right? But they continued to, 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 to live how they were living. They continued to be uh how they wanted to be, right? They didn't have a care in the world. You know, they didn't give a fuck, right? But the destruction still came. Just because, you know, they didn't believe or nothing like that, that didn't that didn't hold off the destruction, right? So they were caught off guard, right? It says, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So just like all of these people got caught off guard by the destruction, right? It happened like it had. It just happened like that, bro. You know, and and, and they didn't know that it was coming. Right? These people, they don't know that it's come that. Yahweh Shah is getting ready to return. They don't know that Esau is getting ready to come down upon them, right? Because they are the Israelites, right? Even if the ones that don't know the Israelites, Esau is coming for their ass too, right? Because Esau is going to implement that microchip, right? And make them take it. And the Most High is going to destroy whoever takes that chip, right? But our people are not prepared, right? They're not prepared for what is coming. They're not prepared for this place to go down, right? That's why Yahweh Shah said he's going to come as a thief in the night. Right. So these people, they're going to keep on celebrating these traditions and, you know, man-made traditions and worshiping their idols. Right. Until they be taken out of the way. Until they be destroyed by the God, you know, of the Bible. All right. Which his name is Yahweh. Right. And his son is Yahweh Shai. Right. They're going to fucking destroy this place. Right. Which is Babylon the Great. And two thirds of our people with it. And he's going to save the elect. Right, that turned from these traditions, that turned from these wicked ways, and followed him and kept his laws, and his commandments to the best of, of of their ability, right, and you know accepted their Hebrew Israelite, you know, um, nationality, so you know, as to say, you know, so yeah, that was that was it, you know, just wanted to touch on that. You know, so with that, I give all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, that by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akim, to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity.
Shalom.